guys, it's Rob Marenghi here. I hope you're doing very, very, very well. So, today's video is called How I Got Rid of Obsessive Anxious Thinking and Painful Rumination 2020. So, the answer to that... <laughs> Not quite a question, but sentence that demands an answer. Perhaps a rhetorical thing. The word how at the start is that I didn't really. I changed my relationship to them, the thoughts, and learned a few strategies to put my attention into things to such an extent that I couldn't be lost in thought. You know, where you have to be in the zone at work, say, your boss calls you, calls you in, and they're talking to you, and hopefully you're not totally lost in thought, but <laughs> and ruminating and obsessing and uh, anxiously thinking. Um, the ways to do that I found were, were guided meditation and uh, and yoga, and I'm just going to tell you about my obsessive thoughts. So ever since being very little, I've had very little, um, maybe tw 11, 12 an overwhelmingly strong mono singular urge and that and that's just to do music for some reason um i the the the, the principal thing at the front of my mind is or was until very recently I'll probably come back with a vengeance but make music and i went to india for a week to get back to, for band practice a week in india three different cities to get back uh three days in morocco the same reason like four days in Turkey or five days. Just absolutely obsessed with it. And when you are that obsessed with it, not only are you thinking about how you can make it, uh, <laughs> you're thinking about the songs, the words, especially if you're writing them, obviously. Um, I would, I just couldn't sleep for hours. I, was, I would agonise over them. I was, I was tortured too, too strong. But you know what I mean? I was really taken hostage, taken over by them, obsessing over one word that didn't fit in a line for weeks, really. Or, you know... Um, it got really bad. And then when the depersonalization kicked in, you end up think obsessing about that and th thinking about that. And that feeds the anxiety, which feeds the derealization, uh, the sort of trippy feeling like you're dreaming or not quite awake and you, uh, you've drank too much caffeine, you haven't slept and, you, and you, you're out there somewhere. It's like, <laughs> in terms of feeling normal, you're, just, you're nowhere near normal. You're, uh, you're psychologically, um, psychologically fucked. Anyway, so... The only way I found to change my relationship to these obsessive, anxious, uh, compulsive and painful ruminations and thoughts was meditation and yoga. Um, I know I say it a lot and it sounds like a cliche and a lot of people, at the, at the, thought of the sound of those two words picture a bunch of um, <laughs> gap year people who are in their 50s, uh, you know, with orange skin doing a tree pose on, on a beach in, um, in Thailand. Then that's not what I'm getting. I mean, even five minutes of uh, any yoga pose, just look up a yoga pose and you do it and try and think, how do I know I'm doing a yoga pose? And you're, for at least a second, and the more you do it, the better it gets, and yoga is very good for you, but at least for a second, your mind is, is focused on, or your psyche, or your third eye, or your two eyes, or whatever's going on, is focused on sensations in your body as opposed to the crazy narrative going on in your head you know obviously the narrative will sweep you up again a few seconds later we're like yeah but you've got to regret that thing you did yet uh, two weeks ago you know accidentally to that cat when you pulled its collar a little bit too tight uh or you get <laughs> mel c stuck in your head or you get billy eilish or god forbid black eyed peas who i've now dissed uh, twice on this on this channel so Another way I found of coping with the derealization end of obsessive, anxious, painful rumination. Because I was, I've always been quite anxious, but that pushed it into overdrive. Uh, it's probably quite obvious. Um, I wouldn't recommend this, but I started taking diazepam or Valium. Because um, I'm sure many of you know. I actually made a video on this, my most successful video, <laughs> called Valium Beautiful Whirlpool. 
before I was on a legitimate weaning prescription, which I am now, that kind of made me feel more still and soothed my nerves and, and calmer and, and more peaceful. But obviously, obviously there is a huge trapdoor, which is the addiction side of it. And then when, um, when, it, when it gets, you're going to have to take more and more, you know, unless you're very disciplined and don't have an addictive personality at all. But no one plans to become a heroin addict on the street. No one plans to become an alcoholic. I imagine some people do actually through self-destruction, but you know what I mean? No one plans to who become addicted to anti-anxiety, uh, anti-pain meds, sometimes are necessary, but they're very addictive. And I'm, yeah, currently on a legitimate weaning program. I'm going to the pharmacy every day, or every other day now at least. It's, let me tell you, it's no fun, and it's <laughs> a bit degrading, and it keeps you in one country uh, or place. So, the last thing I would say is take action. As Gandhi put it, although I've got my problems with Gandhi, him being a white supremacist for one thing, like writing letters to the British government saying, I hope we destroy the Zulus because black people are an inferior race and I'm, I'm in the upper caste in India, so, you know, I'm good with you, whitey. Or him being in the, in the, in the generalship, in the, fighting the Zulus. Or him sleeping with his last little rant about <laughs> Gandhi. Sleeping in his older age, his grandpa age, Sleeping with his granddaughters and their friends, maybe, uh, definitely the granddaughters. I'm not sure about the friends, I imagine so. To test his powers of restraint. So, yes, anyway, as he put it, without action you're going nowhere. And how true that is, and that re is really the remedy to obsessive anxious thinking and painful rumination. Alright guys, if you haven't already, please like the video with the thumb thing, leave comments. The YouTube algorithm really likes it, so insult me, praise me, tell me I look ridiculous, whatever you need to do <laughs> to get through your day. See you later, bye bye.